Hi, welcome once again in this new video. Last time we have seen how to create a custom header from scratch using something called Elementor. Today also we are going to extend that and we will see how to create a custom footer. One of the most difficult thing is to create a footer. Now all, all the builders which were uh, earlier been there with WordPress was very difficult for you know, create a footer in them. But now we have got this wonderful plugin called Elementor which has got all the capability flexibility to create a custom header and custom footer. Last time we have seen header so let's see uh, this time the custom footer just just a quick review last time we have seen something like uh, a header something like this which we have created in case you have missed that video uh, there's a link below and you can see how we have created this custom header now let us create a custom footer now I'll show a very similar kind of footer which is there on my site also this is the footer which is there on my site and we have to try and create something like this okay for this I have added few posts these are all dummy posts and I have added one more menu apart from this this is my primary menu I have added one more menu but that's all nothing more rest this is the fresh installation of wordpress and you'll see elementor here and I'm using a theme called Astra which both theme Astra is also available free of cost on uh, WordPress themes and Elementor is also available free there are two versions of Elementor one is free version and if you want to extend the elements you have to go for pro version but don't worry uh, currently, uh, I know uh, when once you scale up, then you can always go for pro version. Uh, it gives a lot of new elements. So let's quickly dive into creating our own custom footer. Again, below Elementor, there is a temp template section. In template section, go to something called Theme Builder. Once you go into Theme Builder, you'll find this dashboard of my template what I will do I'll, this time last time we have created a header this time let us create a footer so I'll click on footer it will say there is no footer so create your first footer so I will click on add new footer I will name this as maybe a demo footer but when you create you always have a name which you can remember because you need to insert that so this is a custom footer which you can use it on your entire website all the pages and posts or you can create two three such kind of header and use it on different places so and it gives new feeling new outlook to your website because footer again is a very important ingredient of any website so I want to create from scratch I'll close this no no need so once again we are into Elementor Elementor dashboard again on the left hand side you'll see various elements here since we are creating footer it is showing something called a footer area to us so what I will do I'll click quickly add oh no this plus sign I'll add a section here I'll click here see a new section has come up what we have done again last time we have divided it into two this time we'll divide it into three so to do, do do that you know we have to click here edit column 
just click right and new column so it has become two I want one more so I'll add one more add new column so now we have got three equal columns in a row I'll go to my element section now what exactly you want to do here you have to decide upon now what I have done here in my uh, uh, live website I have added a logo here and a little bit of text here a menu and a few posts which we can show here so something like you know we'll try and keep uh, try and create so what we'll do uh, we'll again just go back here we'll add something like a logo and let's add a logo I'll do it quickly this time okay again I'll go for left alignment I'll go to style I'll re reduce uh, the width a bit maybe around this seems to be around 60% 65% will be okay right uh, maybe this time we just try and align it center I'll go back once again this time I'll add text editor here you'll see immediately it will bring up some text here what we will do now is click here oh, sorry it has you'll find you know uh, if you click sometimes this may happen so I'm here I'll quickly take out some text from my live site okay. copy this text I'll add this text here I have to change the size let's make it maybe a bit smaller yeah this will do yeah this is okay this is okay looking okay now let's go quickly to the another section here here I want to add um, maybe my original menu so I'll add a, a navigation in here I don't want footer menu I want primary menu to be here now again it will pull up something called horizontal I want now vertical correct while we were making header you've noticed that it was horizontal now today we are going to make a something like a vertical menu so this is okay I can align whichever way I want I can make it center also I can make it I can keep it left also center will also look nice here so no issues so this is my second column now you can see here I know so many things which have come up in third column now uh, let us see what we can add now yeah I have got my posts here so what I will do I'll quickly go to my elements and I'll search for something called posts and I will add posts here you can be more creative you think in your own way right now see my all three posts have come but they are arranged in a very different format now uh, I want to change that format 
what I will do I will make it one column so now you'll see all these are in one column I'll reduce the number of posts to maybe three yeah I'll change the image position to left I'll reduce my image width look what is happening as soon as I start reducing my image width I can see more number of okay that's it I can increase number of post to 3 right looking nice now Elementor has got such a wonderful arrangement here that I can if I want to remove this title also I can I can remove this title also how I'll just go back here so my title will be off see but I want title you know title is very important here I don't want excerpts so I'll remove excerpts uh, I don't want do I want dates no I don't want dates I don't want dates so I'll remove date from here I'll, I don't want comments I will remove comments uh, I also don't want to read more do we require read more okay let us keep it otherwise it will look only in picture and the name okay. let's see let's have read more oh sorry not excerpts let's have read more let's have read more let's have read more okay so we are done with the first one okay now if you want you can add one more one more here okay now here like, like last time also we have added you know two uh, sections and this time also I'm adding two sections again I've got three now what I have done last time similarly I have learned something called maybe share buttons here right again I'll replace I don't want Google Plus. Google Plus is already gone, so don't add Google Plus in your websites. I'll keep Pinterest. Pinterest is doing very well. If you want to attract traffic to your website, your traffic is very important. So if you want to attract traffic to your website, you start using Pinterest. You know, people are using Facebook and uh, maybe to some extent Twitter but I will always recommend using Pinterest. Pinterest has got capacity and capability to increase the uh, viral traffic to your website. Use it effectively. Okay. Now I'll change, I'll, I'll quickly go and change because there's, there's something called an icon and the text I don't want text, I only want icon. Again uh, to make it similar with what we have done in my, in our header i'll i'll make it framed and i will make it circle this looks good uh, let us keep it aligned to left no problem okay so this has been done now let us come over to uh, the mid section i will add uh, something called uh, maybe maybe I'll, I'll I'll check I'll check I'll check yeah I'll add something like a copy book copy book uh, sorry uh, copyright text I'll take my text editor here as soon as you bring text editor a lot of things will open I will I don't want this I'll just quickly type something here
type it quickly type it okay now this is my copyright notice I don't want anything here okay yeah correct and this thing I will align it to center okay to move to make it more better and give some some padding maybe top padding okay this is okay yeah I'll go back to now third one here I would like to add something like you know terms of use uh, privacy policy uh, which are certain mandatory things if you are uh, maybe if you want to create some e-commerce store later on so I want a bigger space here so I can adjust my columns yeah this isn't fine this is fine a bit okay this is okay mm, let's take a navigation menu here add a navigation menu this time let it be footer let it be horizontal and I will make it this time again I will make it right so alignment is right now I have got everything nicely done you know my uh, my uh, logo some text this can this can be something about your own company about your own experience uh, maybe you can write anything about it could be a on a catch lines also it could be some punch lines also which you want people to uh, uh, immediately attracted get attracted to it anything so you can think what kind of elements which you can put here do you want to put menu you can add many different things here it depends upon you right now what I will do I'll just go back once again to this particular section I'll stretch it like last time we have done so again stretch box right everything I'll keep as it is height vertical alignment I what vertical alignment I uh, always want to keep it in middle so that you have some space here some space above okay similarly I'll do it for here also similarly I'll do it for vertical alignment middle okay now I have to remove this padding which I have previously added uh, which is not required this was the padding which I have added now I don't require this yeah let it be let it be zero okay Okay, looking good I think there is still some trouble over here uh, which is not here so maybe I'll add some top padding I'll just remove this I'll add some top padding so align it nicely sorry 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 not this not this not here I have to go to this place vertical align middle if it is still not coming I'll reduce this I will add here yeah. now it is coming correct yeah perfect now this is perfect okay I'll go here I'll go to style 
So what we are doing now, we'll add, we'll add some color. Like last time we have added, this time also I'll add some color to it. So this one, okay. Oh, looking good. I can change a lot of things here. No, don't worry. Here also I'll add a color to make it same. Go to style. Add color. Again same. Okay. Now uh, make it even. Make it even. Right. Uh, looking wonderfully well I'll just quickly change the style here of my menu I'll change the text color to white right coming up nicely I'll change the hover color I'll change the hover color maybe little bit little bit little bit little bit little bit uh, just keep it this way correct this is okay so I have changed my hover color now this pointer color pointer is nothing but this green color you know once you hover on this there's a pointer here this pointer is nothing but you know a line which is evident this is known as pointer so pointer color I will keep it as white right so nice nicely done okay now looking good similarly I'll go here okay uh, I'll go to style I'll go to content title color I'll change it to white again my image I don't have to do anything I have to change my read more color I'll change my read more color to Look. Yeah. So I've changed my read more color to black. Now everything seems to be good. I have to change color over here. Okay, I'll change the color to mm, let's say go to style. make it white hover color I will again like last time we did black this will give you nice black touch point to color I'll make it white so we are done look at this look nice now this is our custom header custom footer we have created last time custom header this is wonderfully done custom footer I can make this also white so it will match entire footer color combination okay so this is it this is how you create once again I will go to my publish section I will ask them to display the condition I will add condition include in my entire site so this footer you will see everywhere now okay and just refresh it once you refresh it you'll find your you'll find your footer coming in
okay it's updated now it's updated that was taking some time no issues so if you like this video please subscribe please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that whenever I create new video a notification will come to you via email I'm going to create a lot of videos particularly for I know 2019 and 20 2020 because there are a lot of changes which has happened of late particularly in Elementor also and uh, the way you start designing your websites okay so new footer has come up you cannot see the you know, down below because my uh, screen cast doesn't allow but there's a um, this uh, last also is there uh, very similar to this one so entire this footer has come up there on the live site okay so this is how quickly you can create footer also now this footer looks good and will display on your entire website so thanks and see you in the next video this time we'll create now we have created the header we have created the footer next time we'll try and create the in between thing how you can attractively create you know something this is how I created my store look at my store the same thing you know same thing here I've created a search box uh, there's a card button here there's a register link here so that somebody wants to register on my site wonderfully done this is uh, this is beautiful mm, kind of a header image the entire shop setup these are the categories and different products which you can see here uh, this is again the part of the footer which you know which gives lot of value and a design sense aesthetically looks very good so uh, that's it guys so see you next time till then goodbye